How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to play MLB The Show 21 tonight. I'm going to be going over the technical test, what to do and what not to do and I'm also going to talk a little bit about some Diamond Dynasty information or at least a little bit of information that we have confirmed as well as uh, just my thoughts about the whole thing. So with that being said, the technical test is something that you would have already had to sign up for in advance. They did tweet out uh, a sign up sheet multiple times and hopefully you're following me on that platform you were able to uh, sign up for this. Now this is actually the first time we will be able to uh, test out the online matchmaking with cross platform and cross generation play. I believe that's exactly what this is for. We should have all of the Diamond Dynasty cards from MLB The Show 20 included in this technical test and this will be a good way to kind of try some of these cards out within the new game. The next thing I wanted to talk about are some visual changes to Diamond Dynasty. Here we can take a look at some of the player cards, we can take a look at their card art, um, potential attributes of what some of these cards could look like. Um, once again, you know, this is also a work in progress. This is not confirming that Eloy Jimenez will end up being a gold at the start of the game, but it does kind of give us an idea of how to build a team. This video is directly from the MLB The Show Twitter, and I'll link that in the comment section down below. But it does also mention that every card in Diamond Dynasty can be earned just by playing MLB The Show. And that simply means that you don't have to purchase in-game currency or stubs in order to unlock all the cards that you want. If you play the game enough and if you win enough, you can unlock each and every card in the game. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is the first inning program. We take a, a glimpse at what it could potentially look like, and it looks to me like stages of XP rewards. We have some XP that will eventually go to our universal profile. I would assume that that would still be in the game. And we also want to keep in mind that inning programs may not be uh, linked up with program stars, as we'll take a look at this other screenshot. This is from MLB The Show 20. It literally says at the top there, earn and collect stars, earn rewards. Um, this does not look like this is how it's going to be in MLB The Show 21. It might be XP based, and that kind of reminds me of the XP reward path. I would assume that that would also be included in MLB The Show 21, but these two concepts could potentially be converged into one type of thing. I also think that they might, uh, you know, set limits on specific amounts of days that you earn your XP towards an inning program and you're earning a total XP, like the XP reward path at the same time. I think that that would be pretty cool. It also, you know, reminds me of the prestige XP reward path. Maybe this path is extended a little bit more because it looks like you need a lot of XP for those individual inning programs. I'm not exactly sure how it will work, but all of it looks very interesting to me. As we can see here, we can take a look at the 100 XP level. I do not know exactly um, what that means, but it does look like at the 40 XP level within this first inning program will unlock an, an additional 1000 XP more than likely towards the universal profile and the XP reward path. I, I can't confirm any of that, but it looks like that to me, and I'm kind of just looking at the screen, trying to analyze what they've done in the past, as well as what they could potentially do in the future. But I do like the visual aspect of these screens. I like the dark mode. I like the, the way it looks. Some of the player cards and card arts are, are fairly new to me. I'm sure they're going to, you know, improve with uh, the more series of cards that, that are released and whatnot but um i think that it looks pretty good so far so good i'm very excited to play the game tonight i did say that i would talk about some things that you would want to do and not do and that is number one you know stream the game um we don't want to post anything from the beta or from the technical test onto social media we don't want to stream the game they will indeed ban you for doing that and I have to be very careful with some of the information that I release as well. And I'm included in that conversation as well. If I posted anything, they would certainly ban me just as fast as they would ban any one of you guys. So with that being said, I did want to talk about some information that's kind of confirmed. Uh, we do have a screenshot of Bob Gibson, which is pretty important for uh, some other legends as well as Bob Gibson. Recently, 
Uh, a few of these legends have passed away, such as Joe Morgan, Tom Seaver, Lou Brock, and even Phil Necro as well. Um, with Bob Gibson being included in this trailer, we would think that some of those guys could be included in the game as well. Um, one thing that I did mention is that I left out Phil Necro on my tweet because he was not included in Diamond Dynasty. But once again, we can definitely confirm that Jackie Robinson will be in the game. Obviously, he's on the cover of the Collector's Edition and is featured um, as a part of a promotion with this game. So he will be included. But one thing I wanted to talk about is this player in the on-deck circle. It looks like, to me, that it could be a create-your-own ball player, one of the created players that they're kind of talking about within Diamond Dynasty and Road to the Show combined. I don't know. It also looks... Like it could be Ichiro. Ichiro is my favorite baseball player of all time. He does have a left-handed stance, kind of like that. And he is also very skinny. It looks to me like that could be a creative player or potentially Ichiro. And that would be awesome to have him back in the game. I was looking for some of these types of clues within these trailers. And I couldn't really come up with anything. It doesn't reveal any brand new legends or at least enough information to confirm any of these legends. Uh, I looked at this picture right here. And it's tough to tell. It looks to me like a pretty solid, um, stocky pitcher. He looks very muscular and could be a legend. It could also be, you know, a made-up, created player that they have kind of put in there. As well as uh, maybe this is a moment, right? This is kind of a flashback to MLB The Show 20 in the Evolution program with Jackie Robinson at Forbes Field. And I also remember from MLB The Show 20, the developers included some creative players in some of those moments from uh, earlier in baseball's history, from 1930s, 40s, and 50s. They put some position players and some pitchers out there with different names than who would have actually been out there because they don't have the rights to those cards. So with that being said, that's exactly what we could be looking at. I don't necessarily know, but I am looking for clues, right? I mean, this is Cal Ripken Jr. playing shortstop, but in the background, we have a third baseman who could be a brand new legend and we just can't see him because it's a little bit too blurry. Uh, I am looking for that type of, those types of things though. I mean, it's kind of important. You know, they usually throw some hints or some clues in there somewhere in the video and in this one i could not really find anything i don't think other people have really found anything either uh, in terms of brand new legends in some of these reveals but what's really cool is that we don't have a ton of information on mlb the show 21 and we will get a chance to experience some of that uh, tonight when we get a chance to play it for the first time but at the same time, remember to be respectful of the developers and do not uh, you know, post any anything on social media. Do not post any gameplay onto any streaming platform or anything like that. Just have fun, wait, and post your feedback on the MLB The Show forum. That will take place, I believe, on March 1st. But until next time, I'm College Lefty, and peace out.